Good evening from the Hobby Barn basement, guys. Uh, just a very short video, um, as there are several of us out there right now doing the Tomcat upgrades with different fans and escapes, etc. With the success of the MIG, um, they're putting that power system in, etc. Using the uh, Raven Rock plates to do upgrades to strengthen for grass ops, etc. And thank you to RC Informer for his knowledge and uh, on his build techniques i wanted to show just a quick preliminary on where i'm at at the beginning of this this is not my first free wing tomcat nor my first tomcat uh, i have already completed part of this side and put on the fms wheels that are suggested on this side i haven't started the part breakdown for the uh i-beam that will come with Dustin's plates from Raven Rock. I have, however, test fit the 3658 1857 in runners from Freewing. That, if anybody recognizes that, those are the in runners from the A6 and several other several other of their more powerful models. Uh, they are not the nine blade that came out of the MiG 29. Um, after doing some pound for pound comparison. Uh, these being 12 blade uh, with a thrust to weight ratio in this model, uh, kilovolts, etc., are nearly identical. Uh, that and I happen to have a pair of them. So I did get the 100 uh, amp escape set though from the MIG uh, because it was convenient uh, price wise, etc. So I have already gotten at least part of this section done. I've already got this taken off. So I can put the escapes in, uh, or the ESCs. The old days we called them escapes. Sorry guys, I know it's confusing when I say that sometimes. At any rate, I have just started on this side so you can see that uh, the old landing gear is still on here, the old wheels. I'm really a fan of those FMS uh, Super Scorpion wheels. Uh, they do look much more scale uh, when compared to the stock ones, and they are much lighter. Uh, I did not uh, when I put the other one on, have to put a spacer in. I noticed that it spun much more freely without one, so I left it out. And uh, we'll be testing that to see how well that works. Uh, at some point down the road, uh, if this mod for me is successful, um, I will probably be trying to find a, a drop-in or a close-to-drop-in unit that does the rotation, the 90-degree with rotation, and doing an actual wing glove fold away there are a few people that have done it it can be done the biggest issue with this model is it's 12th scale it's not very big and even in a 10th scale and the 9th scale uh, for anybody who's worked a tomcat you know there's just not a ton of space those wing gloves are tight um, if you follow me on hobby barn on facebook uh, or any of my build you will see those gloves even at scale in the one tenth which i'm building um, there's very little space. Once you're in there, they're in. So at any rate, that's uh, something for down the road, but I thought I'd do a quick, you know, three or four minute video, show some progress while I wait for some other things. And um, so far, so good. Thanks for watching. Part one complete.